Hello, welcome to whatever episode this is of Study Mode. It's April 29 at 1.51 p.m. So, I was supposed to start a little earlier, but I wanted to do something else, and that's just just being like, you know, just doing some mini art projects with my sister. But, we're here now, and we're gonna go work on this one. As you can see, I did do a little bit of work on this. So, if we walk around, we can see that there is this. So, I've made like medium mushrooms, not a lot. I've made a few of these, and then littered the entire place with these mushrooms, not the... Not the normal mushrooms, actually, because the normal mushrooms can be planted in place where there's sun. But since these are on grass and not on netherrack, they won't grow anyway, so that's fine. So we have this, which I built like late last episode. But now we have this small one over here, and then if we over we go over here, we have another small one here, and then this like little cluster over here of like supposedly like. You know like a small batch so it's kind of like that but just red and smaller and then we have another cluster of these teal ones over here excuse the lag and then we have this other one right here the thing is i didn't really build much on this side because this is what we're planning to do today so i was thinking that we have the yeah i, I was thinking that we have the thing over here by the campfire but I thought it would be kind of weird to have like the campfire and a bridge so we're trying to make the bridge over here connecting to that part of the railing so hopefully the design I have works so the design I have actually is from uh, Buildcraft I think it's it's just a website they people share their own schematics for things and then I'm planning to build that so that will just be like you know it shouldn't take me long so I have the materials here. Let's go on a super quick time lapse, probably with no chat. So we have this like area over here so it's like a I was gonna say wooden bridge it's a stone bridge because I already had like a majority wooden bridge over there over there so it's like a stone bridge but there's a lot more like woody elements to it even if the main part is stone and this has more wood but it's a stone bridge it's confusing but basically I want it to be a different style than that one I want it to be an arc bridge by the way it's from build craft not grab craft and I want it to be like this so that the people can still like, you know, boat under the bridge, but not like, you know, I don't, I don't want it to stop the travel of the boat area, but I also did want it to have like a, a bridge over on this side so it's easier to go back and forth from the island. So you just have to go through like the, the fishing slash boating rental thing to rent the little paintball island over there. So that would be generally it if my lag would, you know, chill for a little bit. But that would basically be it for that island for now. So what we're going to work on next is, if we actually get there with all this lag, is this area. So over there. So that small sign over there, we're going to be building a stage for the campsite. So that is where like the... Kind of assemblies happen, the little talent shows happen at night. So it's going to be in this area. I'm planning to make it a diagonal stage if I can. And that's just going to be done by progress update. So there's going to be a little stage area. The back is going to be open. There's, no, there's not going to be a background. The background is going to be the forest and the mushroom. I'm planning to have another mushroom there and we'll work on that if we have time. But first, let's start on the stage. Here's a little bit of progress on what the stage looks like. So it's kind of like a weird uh, square-ish type of thing, but it's like a diagonal square. I don't really know how to describe this, but I have one 
where you can go from the front so like if there's like a camp awarding or something the people watching here could you know go up here and go on stage and then this is like a little path to the you know the bridge so you can still go to the bridge you can still go to the houses it just depends on that and then we have these side things where you can still go up the stage like the formal way from the back and then easier way to do that and then there's another one on this side so the thing i'm planning to do is have like a little tent above this so there's like a it's not just an open stage but we're keeping the back bare so you can see the view and then we'll probably think of something to go there so we already have something there we might think of something to go over on that hill i don't know what yet but let's continue working on this okay i a little bit of work on the ceiling and I am kind of loving the ceiling right now I might need to just change this and I'll fix that later but I need to fix that part of the ceiling but I kind of like this like diamond ceiling that we have and then what I'm planning to do is since these parts are like the climbing up parts I'm thinking of making an, a little extension that goes like that but we're gonna keep this main ceiling so it's gonna be like a little Thing that like, connects there and connects there and also has the purple ceiling i kind of like it since there isn't that much of this color in the entire build so we have the purple one over there like the purple big mushrooms but they're not the same shade as this one which is like a more pastel purple which i really love and then we have like this area like the climbing up on the stage but there's like a kind of gentle slope down by the river because i don't want it to be just you know the river straight because i feel like you're gonna get pushed off the stage it's gonna be a huge problem and it also gives it a little bit of distance so we're gonna go continue working on this and then maybe i'll add some like stages stage stuff like maybe some lights in that ceiling and some like instruments on stage or like a lectern or something i'll be right back with that and this is what the final thing looks like at least so far so i added these I think, oh yeah, I added these blocks. I forgot if they were jukebox or no blocks, but I added these to serve as speakers. And then I have this, you know, it'll serve as like a little mic stand. And then the mic over here, even if it's as tall as the character, it looks kind of in, like, in scale if you look at it from the back. And then we have these, you know, redstone lamps that I covered up so that there's an extra, like, detail of it looks like, you know, it's going through, like, the the lighting thing i don't even know what it's called but the levers are actually hidden from behind since they are redstone lamps and then we have the extra lanterns just around the place and then that would be it for yeah that it that's it for what is with my words today for the video for today or not video for the session for today for session one next session we'll probably work on another mushroom and i'm thinking the bee dome it's been months since i last worked on the bee dome and i want to go decorate the inside of that so that's something to look forward to in a few seconds and in a few days for me it's already 3 37 p.m and i'll see you in the next session Bye! Hello! Welcome to session 2 of study mode. It is May 1st at 1.44 p.m. Okay, so we're here by the mushroom island we finished last time and the stage. I didn't really do any changes to them, so let's also start on what we're gonna do next. So I mentioned last session that I was gonna work on a little uh, nature background for this so I was thinking of another mushroom over here so it's like double the mushrooms and that kind of like brings it into perspective of like I didn't want this area to just be empty since you already have the giant mushrooms over there we have the giant mushrooms over there we have the giant mushroom over there so let's build another one and I realized a color of mushroom that I haven't done in giant form is pink. So we're going to do a pink mushroom today. And then if we have time, we'll work on something else. If I can get into the boat. This is very laggy. Why are you so laggy today? Turn. Ah! I can't, I can't drive because of the lag. This is like... Okay. I think I'm making you guys dizzy. So let's just go very slowly. 
there okay now go forward to go I should I should have just swam but let's let's go so we're building the mushroom over there actually let uh, let's go towards that side go to the shore go to the shore go to the shore so we can get out okay there get out get out get out there you go so the one we're gonna build is a twin pink mushroom over here so I have to kind of, I think I have to demolish these a little bit to build the mushroom but that's going to be fine because we can always grow them back up now let's go into yeah it's pretty early but let's go into a time lapse of me building giant pink mushroom and then let's see what time we're done hi welcome to time lapse talk time the time in the time lapse where i talk so i want to talk about the animes i'm watching for this anime season and i think it's actually a really big season of romance anime so i've watched the most anime this season as i as i have in like every other season because usually i go around like 15 to 20 animes this season i'm watching 28 and that seems like a lot but let me just mention some of my favorites so of course we have spy x family because you can see that i've already uploaded the video last week of me making anya's chimera uh another one would be uh i'm just gonna be saying the english translations one of them is your boy kong Min. it's a bit weird of a title but i love the strategy aspect of it like i outsmarted your outsmarting type of vibes so, I don't know, it's just my type of show. It's also surprisingly wholesome. I also have, I also like Trapped in a Dating Sim. It's kind of like, you know, uh, Isekai type of thing, but it's surprisingly cathartic. I don't want to spoil why it's cathartic, but it's really fun. I like, I, I like Love After World Domination because like Power Rangers, but romance. Like, these are really weird, like, synopses of it, but just watch it. They're really cool. I also like Dance Dance Dancer. It's animated by MAPPA, the animation great and it's also about ballet so if you guys don't know i also really like ballet it's some weird thing i like to watch and not exactly do but yeah uh generally i'm really loving this anime season i'm watching a lot and i'm enjoying a lot i only had to drop one anime and yeah we can go back to the video now and this is what it looks like might not seem like much but let's go around it so this is what it looks like. It's more wizard hat e than the double mushroom on the other side. So there you go. So it looks a little bit more in line with that mushroom. And then it's also pink, so we don't have a pink mushroom yet. We just have like small pink mushrooms over there, but not like fully, like this drippy one. But we have purple, we have the dark purple from here. We got the twisty red one. We got this big blue one, we got this white and red one, or like yellowish red one. We got this pink and white one. And then I already lit it up so that no mobs can spawn on it. I was supposed to work on the bee dome, but it's actually... Not, I wouldn't say pretty late, but I don't really have enough time to work on the bee dome at this time. Because it's already 3.55pm. So... That would be it for this session of study mode. I think I'll work on the bee dome next. Just finish that up or at least start on it next session. And so yeah, I'll see you when I have time to work on that. Bye! Hello, welcome to the third session of study mode for whatever episode this is. It's May 11th at 12.50 p.m. So yeah, I'm starting a teensy bit early today because we're gonna be finally working on this bee dome that I've been holding up for, I don't know, about a year now? So, the first thing we're going to do over here is... Oh no, what is happening? Why is there that window? Okay, I think I managed to fix that. There you go, I'm moving now without anything. Okay, so let's talk about this. So the dome. The plan for the dome is to make it a giant garden. Uh, I'm. It's actually not as big as I once thought it was, but yeah, we're gonna make this into a giant garden. Tree in the middle, areas for the bees. Uh, we're gonna have a little axolotl pond somewhere just to house all the axolotls. So let's start working on those. I already have my materials right there. Okay, so let's go in. Yeah, 
so I have this like mini airlock system because we're gonna have bees freely roaming around so we have this piston door so you just squat and turn it on there you go it should be hopefully come on come on there it is then it should replace it with a grass block so you can now walk through so the first thing we're gonna work on is the centerpiece so this actually isn't that high for a, a custom tree this is about 14 blocks tall so since we already have all of these so you know this like little four area over here in the middle we're gonna use this to create the centerpiece which would be a spruce tree so uh, yeah, since I actually already did a giant time lapse for that mushroom, let's just go cut to when it's done since I'll be following a schematic. So I'll put that in the description if you guys want to build it too. So this is what the tree looks like now. Yeah, it's actually huge. I don't think I did the top part because it actually already hit the ceiling, but you're not going to see it, so it's fine. So the plan that I have right now is I'm going to create a little moat around here like our, a moat around here and then maybe over here we're gonna have the axolotl pond connecting to the little moat and then we're gonna have like a little walkway a bridge over the connection to the axolotl pond we're gonna have the axolotl pond and like seats i don't know if i'm still gonna add like giant flowers i was thinking of adding giant flowers as like a build so if you like look over here you can see that I have supplies to build the flowers, but I don't know because we actually, surprisingly, are almost are running out of space very, very quickly. So I'll figure that out. I'll make the pond first, then the bridge, then maybe the flowers, and then I'll bone meal the entire area to actually have flowers. So we have to grab our shovels and let's dig out a pond. Hopefully I don't destroy the redstone underneath. Let's go. So I made progress you can see i dug out the circle like pond and then we have this kind of weird rock formation over here i'm still trying to figure it out because i, I want to kind of make it a little bit more interesting shape but this is what it looks like so over here it's kind of like generally shallow since it's just a little moat pond something we're gonna have some flowers in the middle something kind of magical looking about this tree put some lights on it and then you're gonna have a path going around so you have like the path going here also going in a circle when you're going in the circle over here you're gonna have a little uh bridge basically it's like a bridge from here to over there so you get to see this and then i'm thinking of maybe putting some axolotls over here just like hanging out on the side and then once you get to the other side there's gonna be like a little seating area over here so you can watch by the pond you can watch by the tree and the phantoms are coming out because I haven't slept since I'm indoors. But that's what I'm planning to do. So I'm thinking of filling in this lake, moat, river, something. And then adding some decorations to make it a little bit more alive and adding decorations to the tree. Let's do that. Okay, so I worked on it a little bit. I have the lights around here. A bit of flowers, a bit of greenery down there. And then I also have these small kind of drip leaves. I think these are called drip leaves in the moat thing. I'm thinking of maybe adding some kind of seagrass down here just to make it a little bit more alive and adding some corals. But like kind of and maybe some lily pads for the surface. So this is what it looks like. I think my next order of this would be the bridge. I'm, yeah, I might want to make the bridge over here just so that we already have like a way to get around the whole thing and then we can make the path going around. So I'll be right back with that. So this is generally done so far. Actually, I wanted to add a little bit more. I thought, yeah, I, I keep saying I thought it was going to be a way bigger space than it turned out to be. But this is what we have. So I'm probably going to like fix this entrance up. Oh no, it's lagging. Lag. There you go. So, there. I just plan to fix up this entrance a little bit. Maybe add something in the entrance. I don't really know. Maybe like a archway or something. I'm not really sure. But I'm just going to let this kind of hang out over here. So you can see like there's spore blossoms everywhere. We have this little path. We have this bridge that I made without any pattern. It looks weird. But hey, it's original. 
And then I bone mealed the lake itself. I added some brain coral on top of warp trapdoors. So the warp trapdoors have to be like under the water enough so that the brain coral gets water. So it's waterlogged trapdoors to keep the brain coral alive. And then we have, I just bone mealed the area around here. I'm thinking of maybe adding more two high plants. But with all of that done, we can finally release the bees. There you go. Be free bees. Cause more lag at this area. And then maybe also trying to get the torches out of here. Oh, there you go. Since the bees are released, there's a lot of lag. But yeah, I want to remove the torches because it doesn't really seem that clean. Okay, there you go. Now we can... There you go. If the lag is gonna calm down. Okay, you can barely see me. It's lagging. I'll stop the moving. There you go. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, we finally finished the bee dome that I've been basically trying to put off for like an entire year. It's generally done. Just a few finishing touches I'll work on. But that's it for this full episode of study mode. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!